Hello YouTube, it's me, Brono98, and in today's video, we will be unboxing this package I got here from Cameron. It's the guy that gave me the RAM, or sold me the RAM for the 2011 MacBook Pro. And uh, we'll also be upgrading something in both the 2011 MacBook Pro the 2006 MacBook Pro and the 2008 Mac Pro all in this video here so without further ado let's get started alright so let's go ahead and open this Here we got. Let me open this up. Actually, you know what? We'll leave that. These are the two main parts of this video. They're both solid state drives. And then this, which I'll show off at the end of the video, it's a nice surprise for this project that's coming up here. Here's the one, it's the SanDisk SSD X110. It's a 128 gig SSD, and it will be going in the 2011 MacBook Pro. And this Samsung 840 Evo 120 gig is going in the 2006. I also picked up one of these from Newegg. It's a StarTech USB 3 to 2.5 inch SATA SSD hard drive cable. Um, this is going to help me clone the Tiger partition off of this 100 gig. Now I went ahead and already took apart the MacBook Pro here because it had a part in it that I actually have for an upcoming project that I was using just for testing to make sure it worked. So yeah, we are pretty much ready to go ahead and install the 840 Evo. All right. Believe it or not, the drive won't sit flush with that bracket on, so I just went ahead and removed it. We're going to try this again. Alright guys, there it is installed, plugged in and everything, and now it's just time to screw everything back together. Alright guys, really quick here. Sorry for interrupting the speed uh, or the fast forwarding there, but that's one thing I've noticed about this machine is it seems to have a really strong magnet right there because every time I put in a screw, it just, or try to put in that screw, it just gets sucked right there. And that's where this little tool comes in. Right here, this tool that I got in a kit from Newegg. Let's get this little grabber. All right, so the machine is back together, and we're going to go ahead and boot it up hopefully via USB to the 100 gig uh, Fujitsu drive to clone over Tiger and then we'll fresh install Snow Leopard into a second partition. Also missing feet on this machine so it slides very easily. So we're going to boot into the Snow Leopard partition on this hard drive. We 
need a semi-secure spot to set it. So we'll sit on top of an S4. Alright, so we've got, if we try to zoom in here, we have Untitled, which is in Windows NT file system, 120 gig SSD. So we are going to go ahead and first we're going to go ahead and download Carbon Copy Cloner. That's not good. We kernel panicked. Okay, so after having that kernel panic mishap, <clears throat> I reseeded the RAM and it, it's now turning on. And uh, we're, I've decided I'm not going to carbon copy clone Tiger to the SSD. Uh, Cameron pointed out that uh, doesn't support trim so it will do more harm to the SSD than good so yeah this map all right so the RAM is, is detected so that's good So as the 2006 is installing Snow Leopard, let's go ahead and upgrade the SSD here in my 2011. So we're just Time to screw in these bolts into the SanDisk X110. Alright, it's ready to go. All right, here we go. That was quick. That was really quick to turn on. Alright, I'm going to reorient things and we'll get going with the setup here. And 
there we go guys snow leopard is fully set up and ready to go I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, offload some of the footage off my SD card here because I'm almost empty and uh, go ahead and get El Capitan installing on the MacBook Pro so literally every copy of El Capitan I tried to create installers of pretty much broke themselves it wouldn't work it wouldn't boot from USB on this this would boot from USB just fine so I just went ahead and went through internet recovery and it's going to install OS 10 Lion and from there I guess we'll upgrade to El Capitan so let's see how this goes alright looks like it's about ready to boot there we go guys super fast off this SSD it's supposed to be quite a bit faster in read and writes to, compared to this drive so see how that is Alright, so let's go ahead and we're gonna sign into my Wi-Fi network. All right, so I'm gonna take you guys off the tripod here. One hundred and twenty seven gig, one twenty eight gig solid state drive. Alright, so in the beginning of the video, I know I stated that we would also be upgrading the Mac Pro and we would be revealing what was in that package that I was so secretive about earlier. Well, looking through the footage I've already shot today, it's just way too long of a video. Let's face it, most of the people watching this video won't make it this far, so I'm not going to add more footage than what I already am adding filming as outro clip. As far as the Mac Pro upgrade is, we're just gonna be slotting in the OWC drive we took out of my uh, 2011 13 inch. Yeah, just using it for our Windows boot drive. Now, the reveal will be in its own separate video, revealing what was in the package as well as what the project, final project of 2016 is. By final, I hope I mean final, but never know so yeah thanks to Cameron J for hooking me up with the SSDs and what's in the package and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video